Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted, I kind of look crazy right now. Um, I'm not like dressed cute, wearing a big hoodie. I am 38 weeks and two days and I wanted to make sure I get this filmed and up for you guys because so many of you guys are like, please do a what's in my hospital bag. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. So um, I am having a C-section. I have a scheduled C-section. This is my second C-section. So um, I'll show you guys what I'm bringing this time and I don't have everything here but I'll kind of explain that as I go along and yeah so I'm going to start with what I'm bringing um, for me and like my husband and then I'll go into what I'm bringing for baby. So the first thing that I have here is a blanket. Um, my own blanket, super soft and cozy. I will link all of this stuff that I have in this video. I will try to link down below for you guys. Um, it's just like when you're in the hospital, having your own blanket and pillows. We are bringing our own pillows, one for me and one for my husband, um, which is what I don't have here because we use them on our bed. But we will be bringing our own pillows and my husband has a blanket as well. Um, just like being in your hospital bed, but having your own blanket and pillows, it just makes you feel so much more comfortable. And I don't know. I just think it's like super important. I didn't do that with Weston and I wish I would have. So that is definitely something that I am doing this time. And I know I'm going to thank myself for it just because like hospital pillows and blankets just aren't the comfiest. And I just want to be cozy and I want the baby to be cozy because he's going to be like with me in the bed and stuff. So that is the first thing that I have. So I have this little suitcase. I think I just got it at like Target like a long time ago. It's like a little carry-on sized one. So I'm going to open this up and show you guys what I have in here for me and my husband. So I'm going to start. This is kind of funny. <laughs> but I have handkerchiefs in here. So the reason why I have handkerchiefs is because I'm going to cry a lot and I don't want to just be like using a bunch of tissues. And so this is nice to just have to like wipe your tears. I know this seems really random and like maybe stupid to some people, but like I saw um, Bonnie Holleen on YouTube. She did this and I was like, oh my God, that's genius, especially because I'm going to. I'm having a scheduled C-section, so I'm probably going to have some makeup on. And so it, I just feel like this will be easy. Um, and I'm a crier and I cry all the time. So this is something I'll be happy to have for sure. So I am going to start with these. I have a couple of these um, women's diapers. I believe these are um, the Depends. Um, I'll, I'll link the exact ones that I have down below. But they are just like basically diapers um, because postpartum you're going to be bleeding a lot and if you have a c-section obviously you have surgery but you also still bleed um, down there so I know the hospital will give me like the panties and the big pads and stuff but I love these they're so much more comfortable I have these for when I come home as well so I packed about like six of these um and if I run out, I'll just use whatever the hospital gives me, obviously, and stuff. But um, definitely, I feel like this is such a must-have. I had these with Weston, and they're so much more comfortable. Um, I also have my camera equipment. So I have a tripod. I have an extra camera battery, a camera charger, an extra memory card. I will have my camera and all of that because I do plan on filming. So obviously, that's not, like, for everyone. Um, if you want to take pictures and stuff, obviously, bring your camera and, like, maybe an extra charger or something. But... Um, I do YouTube obviously so I have all of that jazz in here um, we also have two chargers so um, this one is super super long and we're also going to be bringing a extension cord um, I have my computer charger and my laptop um, which I'll show you guys but um, so we're going to need a lot of like cords and places to plug things in so this one is a super super extra long like 10 foot charger i got it at i think walmart or maybe amazon um and then this one's for shay and this one's kind of shorter we do have a longer one i might swap them out but we're also going to bring like just an extension cord um because we are going to be there for a few days since i'm having a c-section and like i said we have a bunch of things to charge so those are definitely a must i also have some breast pads in here uh, my milk probably won't come in while I'm at the hospital. Um, it took like three days for my milk to come in with Weston. So I'll just have like colostrum and I'm sure they'll have breast pads there for me, but I did pack some breast pads. 
I have my nipple shield like again the hospital has nipple shields but I, ha I like a cer certain brand um, with Weston I actually didn't need a nipple shield until my milk came in so I'm not sure if I'll need this but I'm packing it just in case um, next up I have this toiletry bag so this just has all of these little toiletries in here I have these mini Neutrogena wipes um, makeup wipes and a loofah I also have our memory card in here um, on this side and then on this side I have like hand sanitizer I have my own shampoo and conditioner because I am probably gonna shower and I just like want my own stuff I just feel like it makes you feel more comfortable and better um, I have a little deodorant so I just got all these at Target like the little travel size stuff q-tips for me and my husband my we like to clean out our ears a lot I don't know if that's weird but um, I also have chapstick this is a must if you ask anyone like what is something I need in my hospital bag everyone's gonna tell you chapstick um, your lips get super dry so I have chapstick I have body wash just a little method body wash I have um, two travel toothbrushes for me and my husband and a little toothpaste and that's all I have in there and then I'm gonna have my makeup bag as well which I won't pack until the night before or like the morning of because I'm gonna do my makeup before and then I will um, put my makeup bag in here as well but um, that is just totally up to you. You guys know I love to do my makeup. I like to have my makeup done and no judgment. If like some people like to have their makeup done, some people could care less. Um, it just makes me feel good. Having my hair and makeup done is like, it's like a mental health thing for me. If that makes sense. Like if I'm ever feeling like super down or just like blah, just like doing my hair and makeup makes me feel better. It makes me feel refreshed and I don't know it's just something that I like so like I said that is totally up to you if you want to wear makeup or bring makeup so I also have this it is like a little portable mirror um, so it just like sits up like this so if I do want to do my makeup or like wash my face or if I'm in my bed and I don't want to get up and I want to like touch up like redo my makeup or wipe my makeup off um, I can set this on that little tray that goes over your bed and it's just super nice and portable so I got this on Amazon I will link it down below I also have my own towel so this is like my favorite towel we have these in our house they're like super big and like comfortable so um, hospital towels are not like the best so just having my own towel is gonna be super nice like I said all of this stuff is just up to you um, some people overpack some people underpack some people don't care I like to feel really prepared and like I said comfortable so just like having my own towel um, is nice I know sometimes hospital towels can just be like really small and like eh, and I just like want my own big one so I have that and then clothing for myself I have my robe this is a beautiful super comfy robe um, this is from this is from pink blush maternity these are the softest most comfortable things ever and I know um, probably like once I get out of surgery and probably not until later in the day or the next day I'll want to get dressed in my own clothes so underneath that I'll probably be wearing this nursing gown um, so it is a gown um, I showed this in one of my vlogs it is so comfortable you guys and that is what's most important um, it has a built-in bra so um, and it is a nursing bra so it's super super comfortable so I'll probably be wearing this with like this over it um and just like all about comfort obviously but still have the gown so if they need to like check me down there and stuff like that um I won't be wearing like pants um so that is going to be super super nice um I also packed two more nursing gowns just for um if I want something different I don't know how long exactly I'm going to be there um hopefully not past like three days I my surgery is super early in the morning so I'm hoping like after two they'll let me go but who knows so I just have two more just in case this is probably the gown I'm going to wear home with a pair of sweatpants so it is just a long nursing gown I showed this in one of my vlogs too it zips on the side and it's a nursing gown so that's pretty cool um, and so I'll probably be wearing this with this super baggy um, stretchy pair of sweatpants because um, it is cold here it's snowing actually right now 
and um i'm gonna want to be warm so i have this i also have my teddy coat from buff bunny collection it's not here yet i just ordered it from their most recent launch it's just like a big fluffy sweater um that i'm gonna put over this so that will be my going home outfit just super super comfortable and loose and flowy um that is super important so these are from target i believe um i got them like a while back and then this is from Amazon. So like I said, I will have all of this linked down below. Um, but definitely wear something comfortable and something that's not going to be pressing on your incision. Um, because that is not fun, obviously. And then I also have my belly band. So I actually didn't wear one of these with Weston. Um, but I've heard so many good things about wearing like a belly band after. Um, especially a C-section. And it just makes so much sense because, ugh. Like, you just feel so loose. Even if you have a vaginal birth, like, you, just, your stomach just feels so, like, bleh. And, like, I don't know how to explain it. So, like, keeping everything in tight, I know it's going to probably be so much more comfortable. Um, so, this, I got off Amazon. I can't recommend it technically yet because I haven't tried it. But it looks really, really nice. So, I will link the exact one down below for you guys. But, I might as well take it out now. So, this is what it looks like. Um, so you just wrap it around your belly and then this, um, you pull to make it extra tight. So I think this is going to be super nice and it'll help me feel more comfortable, especially like when you're leaving the hospital and you're like at home, I'm going to be wearing this at home all the time too. Um, just to keep everything in really, really nice and tight. And so you feel like more secure when you're walking. Cause if you've ever had a c-section before or given birth before you just feel so uh like empty and it like it's just such an uncomfortable feeling so this i'm bringing and i'm really excited to try this this time around um because i think it's gonna make such a big difference in like how i feel in here i have this big pair of fuzzy socks um they say mama bear i got these for christmas um and they have grips on the bottom so if i'm walking around uh they are going to I'm not gonna like slip on the hospital floor. I also have a pair of slippers that I'm gonna pack. I actually wore them today, so they're in the garage, but I will put a picture up on the screen. I showed them in a vlog and I will link them below. They are amazing and so comfortable. So I'm excited about that. But just in the hospital, I have these and I also have a smaller pair. I actually got these in a bump box um, and it says exhale, inhale on the bottom. And um, they're super, super soft. It says bump life on the front but they're just like super nice um pair of socks and they're no slip so i just have two pairs of socks and then in here i have two nursing bras to go under the other gown um or if i just want to wear a nursing bra and my robe and nothing else um i can do that as well with just underwear so i have two nursing bras here um these are really really nice i will link them below and then on this side is where my husband's stuff is going to be. So he has a couple things in here, but he took some stuff out um, that he like has been wearing. <laughs> um, so he'll add like whatever else he needs to in the last last minute. But he just has some joggers and this jacket and whatever clothes that he wants to wear. So he has a couple of pair of joggers in here and all of that. And then over here, like I said, I have I do actually have an extra long charger in here. So I'm going to swap that out with this little short one. Um, so these will be for me and my husband. We both have our extra long chargers. And like I said, we'll have an extension cord as well. And I have my laptop charger and my uh, memory card to import footage onto my computer. And then a battery charger for my camera with an extra camera battery. Um, just in case because we do plan on filming hopefully a lot for you guys we can get some good stuff so that is everything that I packed for myself and for my husband so it's not too much but I feel like it's just enough to make me feel comfortable and prepared and if we need anything else god forbid um, my husband can come home we're about 20 minutes from the hospital so not a huge deal but I think um, I have everything that I feel like I really need so now we're gonna move on to what I'm packing for baby so I do have three swaddles in here um, I know they have swaddles at the hospital but I just pack some cute little ones for like pictures or you know if I want to switch them out because I love these swaddles they're so soft and stretchy so I wanted to pack some of our own so I just have three of those those are going in this bag because they don't fit 
um, in the other bag right now because they're kind of big, obviously. So I'm going to get the diaper bag and show you everything I'm bringing for baby. Okay, so this is what we were using for Jax's diaper bag. Um, we don't have like diapers in here because the hospital is going to have all that. But I did pack all of his clothes and stuff in here. And then obviously after we come home, this will be full of like diapers and stuff like that. So I just got this. Um, this is a Buff Bunny Collection Game Changer Backpack. I actually have one in black. Sorry, I left this plastic on. I have one in black and I got this in my affiliate package because um, it just had a launch. And I think as of right now, as I'm talking to you guys, they have some still in stock. So I will link it down below, but if it's not in stock, um, hopefully they're going to restock them. They had four colors this time. I know there's only a few colors left, so... Um, I believe this one is one of them as I'm speaking right now. Uh, if this video is up, it might be sold out. Um, but it is the most amazing bag, you guys, for work, for school, for a diaper bag, for everything. I can go on and on. Um, so I will link all that information down below. But it is so beautiful. So I'm going to show you guys what I packed for baby. Now, I don't know. I probably overpacked, but I just want to have options for... Um, pictures like his first pictures and stuff like that so um, I did pack both of his binkies so I have this one um, and then I have one already on the clip so um, these are Ryan and Rose uh, pacifiers and I have um, this is the circle nipple and then this is the flat one so I'm packing both just because I don't know which one he's gonna take if he's gonna take them at all so I do have those in there I have some more hand sanitizer because I'm crazy um, and then I will show you guys some of the outfits I'm packing so I have two of these Lulu company gowns they are just these little newborn gowns and they knot at the bottom so they're super nice for like nighttime diaper changes and they're beautiful um, so I do have two of those the arms also have the built-in um, like hand guards like mittens because when they're newborns they Weston scratched his face I feel like all freaking babies do so um, I have those and I also have an extra pair of those for different outfits if I need them um, but definitely mittens I think are such a must-have um, because they definitely scratch their face like all my nieces and my nephew did my baby did um, I think it's just normal because they come out with like a lot of nails so um, I have two of those gowns and then I also have a couple little outfits so this is a little onesie that says his little name on it and a pair of pants and I don't want to like show too much detail because I don't, I don't know what outfit um, I'm gonna take like his first pictures in and stuff but I do have two little pairs of pants um, gray and black for whatever um, because I have a couple different onesies in here so just two pairs of pants like I said, I probably overpacked because um, he's probably going to be just in a swaddle and like a white, whatever white <laughs> onesie they give him. But I also have these two little onesies. It says new to the crew and hello world. And oh, it looks like I packed <laughs> another gown. So this is another color gown. Like I said, I don't know what I want to take his pictures in and stuff. So I'm just giving myself some options. <laughs> and then this is probably most likely going to be his coming home outfit. It is this Lulu Company little outfit. I can't. Guys, these are so soft. It's ridiculous. So it's just this little outfit. It has hand covers and his feet are covered. And he's going to be all snuggled up. It's going to be really cold. Um, I'll show you. I'm bringing a car seat cover for his car seat. So I have, that's basically what I have for him. Um, three gowns, this little outfit, and then two onesies and two, three onesies and three pairs of pants. So definitely probably too much, but like I said, I like to have options. So that's totally up to you. Also have four <laughs> hats because I have, like I said, I need options, but he's definitely gonna wear a hat when he leaves and probably in the hospital because that they just like wear hats a lot. Their little heads get cold. So um, these are from Copper Pearl. I think most of these are Copper Pearl. So these two are Copper Pearl and these two are Lulu Company. They match the gowns. So, um, yes, I have four little hats and then I have these super warm booty like socks 
um because when they're newborns like putting shoes like actual shoes on them is like kind of hard and like annoying um and like not super comfortable for them i feel like so these are basically like shoes and it's not like they're walking around um they have little grips on the bottom but they're super super warm and these would be great for when we're leaving um even to put over um like if he already has covers on his feet to put over those just because i'm going to be so anxious because it's freezing i mean my husband's going to warm up the truck before and he's going to be outside for like two seconds but still um these are going to be nice in general for any time we go out i'm just bringing these just in case um just because i want him to be extra extra warm so i have i got these off amazon they also came in a blue pair um so i will link those down below if you're in cold climate and then i have just a plain pair of white oh my gosh <laughs> a plain pair of white socks um for if we're just in the hospital um and his little feetsies are cold that is what i have for him and also um something that we don't have in here yet is snacks so i do plan on bringing some snacks for me and my husband i'll probably put them in here this is an insulated little pocket for like meal preps and snacks and like bottles or whatever you want to put in here but i'll probably put snacks in here i'm gonna do probably a couple built bars some nature valley um granola bars and then i'll probably pack some like cheese it packets and stuff but they do have a cafeteria at the hospital and we're gonna get meals and stuff so i'm not gonna pack too many snacks but that was one thing that we liked with weston um especially because we were there for so long which we weren't anticipating um but it was nice that we had some snacks for my husband um, i am placing a big grocery order like the day before we go in so um i am gonna pack just a couple snacks in here nothing crazy but so i am also bringing my breastfeeding pillow this is a my breast friend pillow um if you have like a boppy breastfeeding pillow or whatever i recommend bringing that i had my boppy with weston and it was super helpful to have um and just like comfortable so i'm definitely bringing my breastfeeding pillow and we will be throwing this in the car as well this is the jj cole car seat cover it's just like a super warm like winter cover for them um just to make sure that they're completely covered from the cold and like i said we're gonna be outside for like two seconds but still i want to make sure he's super warm so i'll have this link down below for you guys um we're just gonna throw this in the car and have it in there for when we need it So that is everything that I'm packing in my hospital bag. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, remember that everyone's different. Everyone wants to pack different things and feel more prepared. And some people don't really care, especially if it's multiple kids, um, if you've had multiple kids before. But for me, I really like fe feeling prepared and super comfortable. Um, and this is just what I feel comfortable with. So I hope this helped you. Let me know if it did. And um, it's almost baby time, you guys um we have about a week left give or take a few days I'm, i don't want to announce the date obviously but he's going to be here so soon and we can't wait so i'm hoping this c-section goes way more smooth than my last one so fingers crossed for that um and congratulations to all you mommies to be out there it is such an exciting time um and such a blessing so we cannot wait we're so excited thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it make sure you're subscribed because i will be putting up videos right before i have him and also we want to do a birth vlog and the first 24 hours video and him meeting weston unfortunately he won't be meeting weston at the hospital because of the flu restrictions right now which is such a bummer but i will be vlogging a ton because I want to capture all of these moments with our little babe. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.